Tonight, leaders in St. Peter saying if COVID-19 numbers don't go down, the city could be forced to put strict new rules back in place. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck sitting down with the mayor tonight. At Red Mesa Cantina, owner Peter Vadia III is choosing to put people over profit. His restaurant still operating at 50% capacity, despite the state allowing businesses to fully reopen. We're staying at those levels because we feel that that is what's safest for our staff and for our guests. A few blocks away, Karen Porterfield is limiting customers at one time inside Plain Jane, despite needing every last sale. We really want to see everybody be able to keep their doors open and keep the customers coming in through the holidays. St. Pete leaders say most businesses are doing everything they can to stay open, but more than 120 have been cited since June for breaking mask rules. And with COVID-19 numbers once again climbing, the city is getting ready to launch yet another public information campaign reinforcing the rules. The last thing that we want to do here in St. Petersburg uh, is shut things down again. Mayor Kreisman now planning to meet with the Pinellas County Administrator to talk about what kind of rules should be implemented and when. The mayor says our behavior over the upcoming holiday season could be a huge factor in whether or not these rules need to be put in place. This past weekend, Florida saw the biggest leap in COVID-19 cases since July. But business leaders worry they might not be able to survive a second shutdown. It all comes down to balance safety, with generating revenue to pay the bills. It's, it's a very fine line. In St. Petersburg, Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.